Hey, what's going on with it once again? Bros, women, bronies, and Pegasus sisters, especially my Pokemon fans out there. It's the one, the only, of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011, a.k.a. Criticism Guy 2009, and of course, Nintendo Anime Manga Guy 360. Back again with another um, TCG pack opening video today. <clears throat> sorry if my voice sounds a little raspy or funny, but um, I, I know I did like two videos today of um, me opening up like any of these tins in the background, especially that one right there, the Samurai one, but that was actually a month ago when I did that. That was August 1st, and we're September 2nd right now. I was going to upload it on September 1st, but unfortunately, um, I was extremely tired. I did two, 12, 13 hours of fucking work. I overtimed the shit out of my job. Oh my god, I, I was exhausted as hell the other day, and, and there was no way I had the strength to upload a video, even though I did it like a month before. Just to use my laptop was just a struggle with my arms. were just tired as fuck. I could not just upload any video for crap. I'm sorry, guys. But anyways, um, I uploaded two of them for you. The other one was like four months old. It was um shout out to, once again, uh, Pokemon Excavation. Um, She's a really cool chick. She's really awesome as hell. Um, Very amazing girl. Um, I would show you the little stickers that she gave me. But just check out the video yourself. Um. She's a really cool chick. And then I opened the old Flash Fire. I think it was an XY Blister pack when I opened it. That was about, I think it was May, June this year. It was about three, four months ago when I did that video. So it was a while ago. But yeah, um, I'm not really going to... I did promise you guys I was going to get Furious Fist um, the first of the month of September. Even though I did say I was going to save up for some more cash. But instead, I was going to get Platinum Marcius, But um, I didn't feel like it. This They still had the old... Um, low punny and um, happy the low punny and happy hollows. They had those as a promos, and I didn't like those very much. This one caught my eye though. I actually went to Target earlier, right after I went to work, like an hour after I left work. I went to stop by a Target and I saw this Mancino promo. And Mancino actually is probably like not in my top 10 favorite Kalos, not Kalos, Unova, not in my top 10 favorite um, fifth generation Pokemon, but. Like, my top 20. It's in my top 20 favorite when it evolves into Sinchino. So I had to pick this fucker up. I really like Mancino a lot. It's, like, in my top 20 favorite Unova Pokemon for fifth generation, for black and white. One of my favorite common Pokemon in there. I don't know why. I just really like it a lot. I mean, girls love it. It's cute. It's adorable. It's pretty much the Rattata of the fifth gen, even though we're in sixth generation with X and Y. Probably wondering why I'm taking a generation step back. is because, um... Financially, I'm not going to get too pr personal or private with this, but um, because you people don't know me in real life, obviously. But if you did, maybe if you go on my Facebook or Twitter, you probably know me a little bit better. <laughs> and I know who's going to be watching this video already. Um, You're really awesome, too. I'm sorry I haven't really been commenting you or I haven't like, talked to you on Facebook in a while. I've been really drained with energy for a lot. I've been going through a lot of stress, too. Um. But shout out to you anyways, because I know you're watching, girl. You're awesome. Um, Jenny Rich, I know you're watching this. So um, <laughs> I know you've been doing those cards in the mail video, but physically, I haven't had time at all for the internet. I mean, I have been making videos more on my Criticism Guy channel than I have here, but uh, physically, I've just been drained with a lot of shit. Plus, I've been having a couple issues and stuff in real life. But um, shout out to you, Jenny Rich. I know you've been doing those cards in the mail video. I just haven't had a lot of time to um, watch any videos that I'm... Um, in my sub box for a while so please forgive me for that hopefully you're cool with that hopefully you're you're okay with it but thank you very much check out her channel she's been doing a lot more if you want to check out more people that do openings and like cards in the mail like scbm tfc well she doesn't do scbms but like she purchases a couple cards every now and then in ebay so if you want to check out somebody a lot more more strictly more into pokemon than i am instead of just my little pony or how my channel is, most of you people know that I do a lot of game reviews, cartoon conspiracy theories. I do that a couple times. I haven't done that in a while. I'm definitely starting this month since October. Autumn's around the corner. That I'm going to bring up again. I'm going to start doing anime ones. I haven't done any at all. I actually know I have done one, but I haven't uploaded it yet on YouTube. It was on um, Kill a Kill. The other one's Attack on Titan. I still haven't done that one. So it's probably going to have to wait till fall when I start doing anime reviews, series reviews. I'm not doing episode by episode. That would take for fucking ever. Fuck that. Um, <clears throat> what else have I been doing? Top 10s, I've been doing a lot more of my criticism guy. I actually did two of them. I did a top 5 honorable mention video. And I did a top 10 Pokemon that desperately need Mega Evolutions on my criticism guy. I've been a lot more busier with that channel. And this fucker fell. I don't know why. Hopefully none of the other ones do. 
Yeah, I haven't done any ones in a while, but um, anyways, I haven't done like um, top 10s here in a while, but I'm going to try to bring that back, see what happens. The other three I've been mostly working on here is a lot of TCG Pokemon openings. And this past summer in July, I did a crap ton of them. If any people were subbed to my channel, shout out to the 470 people that are subbed to me. If I get 10 more subscribers, I'll do like a 480 subscriber special. I'll try. And then after that, I'll literally have like 20 more people that could subscribe to my channel. I have 500. Literally half of the goal of over a thousand subscribers almost, which will be awesome. Thank you everyone for subscribing, everyone. I appreciate your support and everything. I wish I can give you money, stuff like that, but sadly I can't do giveaways because I'm not poor, but at the same time I'm not rich. I'm like in the middle, like middle class, you know? But yeah, that's all the, enough from that rambling bullshit for now. As far as updates go, check out my criticism guy. I did a couple rant videos over there yesterday. It was about um, something really sad that happened in Mississippi. And then something else, too. I actually did more, like, um, Pokemon openings and stuff. Oh, I actually did another video here on my Nintendo Free channel. Oh, when, um, I'm sorry, I keep saying, oh, very loud your face. Um, other than that, oh, my God, um, let's see. What was I going to say? Oh, yes, now memory's coming to, if memory serves right, I actually did a, a video of My Little Pony Friendship with Magic. I'm bringing those back. I still didn't get no views for that, so I don't know what's going on, guys. I mean... I did do two My Little Pony Friendship with Maz in Season 5, and I got like 40 plus views. So, like, it's at 50 views now, which is really good. I love that for my channel. Um, I did a reaction review to one of them for the clip for Season 5 when I did the San Diego Comic Con two months ago, or three months at this point. And then I did like a whole review on it. And then I did like um, a sad fic review for fan fiction. Shout out to Obab Scribbler. If you're watching Obab Scribbler, it's probably like 4 or 5 in the morning over there. So, you're probably asleep in London in the UK. Because I know she lives in the United Kingdom. Shout out to Scribbler. She does really amazing fan fiction story reviews. And then she does like the actual like these round table sessions, podcast sessions. And she does on Twitch. Check her stuff out. She's a really cool chick. So Jenny Rich, shout out to her. And shout out to Obab Scribbler. Or Scribbler, she's mostly called. She's a really awesome woman too. They're really cool people. If you like your My Little Pony Friendship's Magic stuff, check out Scribbler. If you love your Pokemon TCG stuff, or your Pokemon fam. Like, comment, subscribe to freaking um, Jenny Rich because she's a boss. Enough of all that rambling now. I got all uh, out the way. Oh, yeah. One last real quick thing. When I did my Poke Tekken video, I got 300 fucking views. Three fucking hundred. That's awesome as hell. That's some cool shit right there. I'm not going to lie. Thank you to every single person that has... um. Watched my video for that. That was cool. The Pokemon Tekken tournament video I did like a week ago, it got past 300 views. Thank you very much. I, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. You could thumbs that up if you want, but, you know, I heart you fucking guys. You guys are amazing. I know that's that whole MySpace thing. I didn't give a shit about it, but I heart every single one of you guys. You guys, I love every single one. If you're a guy, no homo. If you're a girl, call me up and text me if you're over 18. <laughs> but, yeah, um, anyways, um... Enough of that bullshit rambling. Now I'm finally going to open this thing. Emerging Powers. EP. Ah, oh, I wanted to save that. Oh, well. All right. Open this bad boy up. And like I said, Furious Fist, I might do it at the end of September instead. If uh, money starts coming in more. Because I've been having a couple of financial issues lately, which I'm not going to get into. It's a little personal. But yeah, let's open this bitch up first. This is the best thing I could come up with. So first up we got is... Ooh, cool. Oh, I got a sampling pack. Oh, okay. That's all good. I thought there was two packs, but whatever. So I got this cool Shardit Minchino Hollow right here. So it knows Gnaw and Tail Smash. I already got like four or five EX EX Full Arts from this set. So most of this set's complete. I just need the Hollows for this set, and I'll be good. I'll complete it. So check that out. So it knows Gnaw and Tail Smash. You can see a lot more better. You can see the Hollow Shard Shardit Hollow pattern a lot better. I wish they brought this back. Instead of like the um, instead of like that crappy X Y like hollow thing, that's not fun. So yeah, information. So it's 50 base HP. Um, and knows not and tail smack like I said. And it says the greater. Oh yeah, excuse me. It says they greet one another by rubbing each other with their tails, which are always kept well, groomed and clean. And the retreat tree cost is like two. All right. So I got my DS right here. I don't know if you like the new background. I didn't get to say nothing about that. I didn't use my other one because my folder's breaking in half, so you're not going to see the Pokemon cards anymore. But let's open this one first. This is cool. I like this. 
I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this good. So I'm gonna save the pack. Looks fucking awesome. It looks really cool. I thought it was gonna be like a Darmanitan back there, or um, Braviary, or Tornadus. Nope. Oh well. So look at that. Oh, that's nice. They give you a little listing here. Cool. I like this. This is really cool. There's the trainer challenge. This is probably out of date. This is 2011. This is about three and a half years old now. Need help right there. There goes the emergent powers. I pretty much got every single one except the hollows. I'm missing about five, maybe six holographic cards in this set. If I get those, that's cool. There goes Bravey over there. And Tornadoes there. There's no secret rares in this pack for some reason. That's weird. So first one we got is Machino here. We got Sea Waddle and we got Deerland. I got these two already, but I never got this Sawaddle here. So those tackle string shot. Um Pokedex description is, and wait before I read that. It says um Sea Waddle HP 40 hit points. And it says leaving oh excuse me, Levani dresses its clothing that it's made for when it when it is hatched. It hides in its head and it hides in its head in its hood in its hood hoods. While it is sleeping. That's a real big tongue twister there. Um, I'm keeping that code car. I might give it when I hit 500 subs. So be on the lookout for that. Um, Deerling. I'm just going to read the descriptions for them. Says, um, The turning of the seasons changes their color and the scent of this Pokemon's fur. People use it by the marks of the season. That's nice. And the third one is another Minchino. This is cool. I like the other one better, obviously. Way different than this one right here. All right. See the difference? Same Pokemon, just different hearted shallows. That's all. All right, so 60 base HP. It's a little stronger than the other one. That's weird. And those last resort, and then the little Pokedex description says these Pokemon prefer a tidy habitat. They are always sweeping and dusting, using their tails as brooms. So let's open this pack. I thought I was going to get two average packs, but hey, you know what? YOLO shit. You know, I'm risking it. All right, so opening this one. I actually have my other scissors too, but these are like really batched up real bad. You can tell they're like, they can go all the way like this too, so they're broken real bad. All right, do the card trick thing. I'm not really expecting much here. If I get a full art or anything, I'm going to be sad because I got all the full arts in this set already. From this SCBM I got a while back. If I get a hollow, that's cool, but you know what? I'm already just... Purely satisfied with this. I'm happy already with this shard at Hollow. So, uh, let's see. You know what? I'm feeling generous. So, here's one code card right here. It's T A H A M Y S R V 5 A P T. Pause that or do something else with it. All right. So, okay. Hopefully, the card trick's the same. One, two, three. One, two. Rare and reverse. I felt something good back there. I hope I'm right, but I doubt it. First one we got is a Gothitel, or no, Gothita, Drillbur, Pantsir. That looks cool. Deerling again. That's funny. Another Sea Waddle. That's weird. Crackerock. I like this design of this Pokemon. That's cool. And those Bite and Crunch, all that good shit. Sock and those um, Five Fierce Chops. Sounds like the Five Palm Lings of Death from Kill Bill. <laughs> Whirlipede. I haven't gotten this one. That's cool. That was Venom Shop and Steamroller. <clears throat> 90 base HP and a Pokedex description says, info, it is usually motionless, but when attacked, it rotates at high speeds that crashes into the opponents. Oh, that sounds a little dangerous. The reverse is... Oh, yeah, my reverse is... Bam. Ooh, Excadrill. It's not a hollow, but I will take that. It is a rare, though. That's cool. And that's 120 base HP and those dig an earthquake. Rare reverse for the win. That's awesome. Happy with that. I'm a man with little taste. You know, it's all good. So when it says the Pokedex description is... Hold on. Let me focus that a little better. All right. More than 300 feet below the surface, they build maze-like nest. They, their activity can be destructive to subway tunnels. Ooh. And the rare is... Ah, uh, these... Fucking goddamn elemental monkeys. Fucking hell. I rather would have took the hollow version of the extra drill instead. But, you know, I'm still happy with the pattern or whatever. So, no, it's semi seer. It's funny. The other one I got before when I did a solo blister pack was like the rare reverse um, semi poor. Now I got semi sage. I needed this one, but I don't really give a shit about it. So, it's 90 base HP and those fires, power, and seed bomb. 
The description is, it, yeah, if tempered, it fights by swinging, swinging its barbed, its barbed tail around widely. The leaf growing on its head is very bitter. <laughs> so uh, unfortunately, I didn't really get nothing good in here, but you know what? I'm not gonna complain. I still like this rare reverse. It's awesome as fuck. I really wish it would have been a hollow, but beggars can't be choosers. That's what you get when you go into retail, you know? When you buy shit at retail stuff. And he got this nice looking Manchino house. So like I always do say, peace out once again. Bros, women, bronies, and pegasusers. I will see you when I see you guys. Have a good day. Have a good night. Wherever you're at around the world. Don't drink and smoke weed at the same time. Don't do anything reckless. See you soon. See you around. Peace out, ladies. Goodbye. Um... Keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it chill, keep it collective. I will talk to you guys later. Deuces, I'm out of here. Take it easy, stay safe. Bye, see you in the next one, all that good shit. I will see you guys next time. I'm out, and um, I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Keep it chill, and um, goodbye, everybody. Deuces.